Zach, come in the opening shot. Let's yeah. do like a in prayer, an opening prayer. Okay. May you give us the strength to do the show, and also one, two, three, take off Zach's clothes. <laughs> Didn't work. My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Little episode getting pre-recorded, because as you watch this, we're in Milwaukee. Oh, doing baseball sunshine stuff. Sunshine State. Love Milwaukee. I've been here now for a day, and I'm loving it. I love being out here with these uh these nice people of Milwaukee. We're in Milwaukee. I tuned you out. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Tough start. Tough start. <laughs> nice haircut. How are you in five days? How, how are you? Nice haircut. Do you think it looks better in five days or worse? Yes. I was just going to say on Monday, I'm going to post a picture of like the haircut five days in. That's when you're always most confident mm. about a haircut. Right now, look tight. My hair is uh, it's, uh, surviving. Looks like it's starting to... What do you want to talk about first? The Little League World Series is on, Jake, and I adore the Little League World Series. I am a big fan. I like watching it. I actually think that it's, this is a hot take when, ah, never mind. All right. Thanks for the hot take, Jim. This kid, Jackson Kaler, yeah. uh, 5'2", 106, similar to you, mm. uh, he says that his special talent is that he can cook minute rice in 58 seconds. So that's tricky for me. That kid is either hilarious or not funny at all, and I don't know. I don't think it's his joke. You think that's been done before? I think it's a hand-me-down joke from, like, his dad. Also, what does this mean, that you just hit the microwave two seconds early? Or you said it at 58. Why is this kid cooking rice? He's 12. When? How old were you the first time you cooked rice for yourself? Bro. 25. Four? I was going to say 25 for me. Yeah. What a boring thing to cook. Like I chicken nuggets exist. I yeah, I think kid. I'm out on No, him. but you can't hate them because they're kids. What would yours say as a little kid? I think I would have tried to push the limits at that age, like favorite school subject, and if I could have said like sports. Sports. And see if anyone flinched okay. at that. Yeah. I think that would have been a pretty good 12-year-old joke, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you, dude? Uh, mine would have been like um, favorite subject, probably English. English. What about like a fun fact for you? Like, how about that time that you thought your wiener was, uh, had turned orange, but it was actually, you just masturbated after eating Cheetos. You could have told that story. That's not true. But now think of a true story that pushes the boundaries that maybe we could tell on here and I can confirm or deny. That time you shit on your sister? <laughs> deny. <laughs> deny that up. That's, it got boring after a minute. Jimmy, let's go to almost a breakdown. Baseball lip. Baseball lip. Savannah. Bananas are coming down the stairs. Savannah, bananas are coming in your hair. We had something. Something about Mary. Jim, I know. Good movie, bad movie. Something about Mary. How much you Good like movie, bad this. movie. Something about Mary. Good movie. That's all right. Something the Savannah Bananas did made you enjoy what happened because these are a couple things that you like to see happen together. Well, one, we love the Savannah Bananas. We're big fans. Biko does the play-by-play, -play, does a ton of funny stuff. They're doing like ASMR post-game interviews. They're doing a bunch of funny stuff. They had uh, the third baseman mic'd up and the third baseman predicted the play. Perfect. And may I let you know that he did not predict the play. He manifested the play. Ah. You have to envision what would happen if the ball came to you. You're and a big then, manifest kid. Oh, you got to manifest. I can't tell the percentages of real and fake. Okay. Well, did, did, this, kid, did guess, this kid manifest that or not? A hundred percent. Yes. I would guess you're 10% real, 90% fake in the manifest Interesting. world. Yeah. Interesting. I don't think you're correct. Okay. Yeah. What are you at? I'm not going to tell you. Okay. Anyway, the kid at third base manifests that the ball is going to come to him, that he's going to sidearm throw it to first for the out, and then it happens like immediately. It's, perfect. it's a really good play. It's, it's not, nice a, it's play, not an yeah. easy play. It's a hard play. And uh, no, my favorite part is actually yeah. going to play right now. Right after it gets hit, he lets out like an excited squeak. Yeah. It's like, oh, oh. oh my God. Like it's about to happen. Yeah. Like it just happened. That's my favorite part. So good for good job by the Savannah Bananas. They're so much fun. Like we have a video on this channel of us going to one of those games. Go watch it. A kid hit on stilts. But Jake, they were playing the Macon Bacon. And you're... I don't talk about that. You're not a Macon Bacon fan? I'm so Savannah Banana, I can't even... Did you just think about the Macon Bacons? And you almost gagged? I can't. And Jim, 
The good news is we have another... Oh my god, are you thinking about bacon again? We have another bacon story. But first, this ad brought to you by... We don't have an ad today. John Boy Media, buy a shirt for once in your life. Frickin' losing. They're both John Boy shirts. This can't one, you, buy that you one. can't buy this one, though. <laughs> this is special. That's marketing. This is... Uh, you have to visit the office <laughs> and be a size that we have available. Take that off. Take that all back. You blur his whole entire body. <laughs> Come on. When he does that. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Uh, Jim, Carnival Cruise Lines. No free ads. They enact a fleet-wide limit on... Carnival Cruise Line is temporarily moving to an every other day bacon schedule as it buf- at its buffets. Yeah, they're running out of bacon. Can you read the quote at the bottom? It's so funny. Can you just read it as if you're the actual I'm going to read it as I'm someone that works this, with Carnival. Put him on like a podium of a cruise and he's reading this as an actual guy. We are having some challenges sourcing bacon at the moment. No, the next oh, one. Oh, there is another quote. The next okay, quote. Let's good keep one. the next quote going. This is just a genuine problem that we as a company have. <laughs> That cracks me up, man. This, this is a real problem that we're dealing with. Because that Can client, you guys stop laughing? They're not. They're out of bacon. This is how many people are canceling the trip. Like, they're actually Ooh. people. It's it's Carnival Cruise Line. Wow. If there's any bacon enthusiasts, the amount of people that go on a Carnival Cruise and don't eat bacon, zero. 90% of the people on a Carnival Cruise are going to eat bacon every day. So this is a huge issue. How many people? Ninety-four. Can, how many couples? Yeah. Are having genuine debates? <gasps> how many are bringing their own bacon? Sneaking their own oh, bacon? I don't like that. This is huge news. I know we don't get serious here a lot. Okay. This show is called the Weekly Dom. Black and white. If you're bringing bacon with you on a carnival cruise, like check in, because that's not what it's about. Oh, Jake loves the next story. Yeah. There's this walrus in Ireland. His name is Wally the Walrus, which I like, but also that's probably the number one walrus name, and we probably need to diversify, you know? Like Ooh, okay. all the walruses are probably like, what did they name you? And they're like, Wally. Wally like, oh, that's or Walter. What, yeah, like, all of them are getting yeah. named the same thing. This walrus is so big, and it just likes to... Be floating Dude, and it's sinking ships. No, it's a killer walrus joke. They should say William Walrus because William Wallace. I'm William Wallace. William Walrus is hilarious. And it's the same. Syllables. I think it's been done. Oh, I'm sure it has. But like no. Wally and Walter have way too much squeeze on the market. Jim, I do love this story. Uh, we need to stop the walrus from sinking our ships. So let's make him a couch. I will always be on the side of that. Oh, yes. Wally? Yeah. Wall E, the Disney movie, top three impression for me. Zach knows. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Where's R2 like, people D2? People are going getting... to think Zach fucked with that. That was real. People. Where's R2 D2 getting shot on your impression? Woo! In a minute. That felt good. That was a Where good do you one. think that lands on your list? It's top 10. I've got a buddy that's better at R2 D2, so that's always going to be in my head. Oh my God. You're not even the best head. you know. What about like a duck trying to fly? I learned it from fly. him. You know, I have to learn an impression from someone. A I don't just have natural impressions. A duck. Don't do this. Trying to don't fly, do this right but now. cannot fly. Don't do this. Do that right impression now. for Zach. <laughs> sweating. Yeah, sweating. All right, like we said, we're in Milwaukee, so. Uh, it's the employee of the week. 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 It's fucking us, dude. We're badass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, good job by us. I think that's our first ever win. Want to give it to us? You give it to we, you. Yeah. you and I. Yeah, about fucking time. Oh yeah! Congrats, Jake. Happy Monday. Boy of the week goes to Jake and myself. Mondays, I hate Mondays. Just another manic Monday. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Good day. That was a weekly dumb. What are you reading? Uh, I just wanted you to read this line um, okay. out loud, right about or below my fingers. There's, it's just a couple words. Just the three words? Then? Yeah, about yourself. It's not about me. Who do you think it's about? The words say, you're so helpless. That book is not about me. When I heard him, I thought about you. <laughs> I was going to say... Mm. <laughs>
Dude, sometimes you are helpless. Everyone is. I'm just more than a lot of people. Hands bound, thrown in the deep end, helpless. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty heavy. 